welcome to the Stop Over Drinking and Start Living podcast, where high achieving, goal oriented rebel women come to learn how to live a vibrant and fulfilling life without requiring alcohol to get through it. No labels, no judgments, no saying you'll never drink again, just real proven methods to help you stop rebelling against yourself with alcohol so you can drink less and do more. I'm your host, Angela Masenik. Let's dig in. Welcome to episode 201, Investing into Your Future. Well, hello, hello, hello. How are you? Wow, last week was a whirlwind. (laughs) The 200th episode, did y'all listen to that? If not, please take the time to do it. And thank you again for all of your contributions and for being amazing and for being here and dedicated to listening to this podcast every week. It's a great avenue for me to express myself, to reinforce what I teach in my own mind, in my own life, and I just love helping you all. So, so, so grateful today. And today's topic is about investing into your future. And I have talked about investing into yourself in the past and kind of what we spend money on and things, but I really want to dive into this idea of investing today. Um, really because I met with my financial planner last week and we talked about all the things like long-term investments, short-term investments, risk, lower risk, cash, you know, what we put in today has a bigger impact on what we, what we receive tomorrow. And I think that's really interesting because that just goes for any 24 hour period, right? It's like what you invest your time and energy on today will give you something in the future and tomorrow, right? So it just got me thinking about the people that want to stop over drinking, especially you, (laughs) and the risks that we currently take in our everyday lives, right? So a lot of you dutifully hand over thousands of dollars a month to the stock market because you believe you're investing into your future, right? That you'll have security in the future. That's what we're investing in. We're hoping to feel secure and to have something in the future that we can count on, right? That gain, that security doesn't exist yet, but you believe that it will. Many of you invest in vacations that you hope to take in the future, right? I I do. I'm doing that right now. A promise of relaxation, adventure, fun, memories with your family and friends. Again, something that hasn't happened yet, but you believe it will in the future and that it's going to be awesome, right? So we're willing to put money down, book plans, take time off work, move our schedules around all of that for something in the future. You also invest in your kid's future by paying or saving for college, and you believe this will provide them a better future, right, With and helps you feel more secure about their future, right? It hasn't happened yet, but you believe that that investment will pay off for them in the future, right, and that you've done a good job as a parent. We also make daily investments to maintain our current lifestyle. I kind of just touched on this, right, but it's like, We invest into our hair, (laughs) making sure our hair looks good by going to the salon, um, our nails, manicures, pedicures, shopping for the clothes that we wear on our bodies, skin treatments, massages, gym memberships, right? So we're investing into what we currently look like, or maybe we're investing into what we want to look like as far as like, you know, gym memberships and stuff like that. And the other daily investment you might be making is to maintain your over drinking habit. Okay, so I want you to think about the time and the money that you invest into keeping your current relationship with alcohol. It's just a different way to think about it, right? It's like I talk about how much money we spend on alcohol on a yearly basis, right? But when you choose to spend money on alcohol the way you are right now, you're choosing to keep what you have right now. So you're investing your time and money into supporting this current relationship with alcohol. Because you believe, unconsciously probably, that alcohol is going to give you something right now. Okay, that something might be relaxation, fun, to shut off your mind, or to keep boredom away, right? If you've been listening to this podcast, you're likely maybe somewhat aware of why you're using alcohol, right? So you're investing now, today, in the moment to 
keep that relationship going, to keep that investment with alcohol in your money and time going to give you something right now, right? You're not thinking about six months down the line when you're picking up your bottles of wine at the grocery store. You following me? So when you buy alcohol, invest and invest into your relationship with it, you aren't thinking about the future like your other investments. You're investing to get a quick and easy return on feeling better or to amplify um, experiences that you think might be more fun. Okay. With your other investments, well, you're willing to wait long term. You're willing to have ups and downs and dips and stalls because you know that long term it's going to work out, right? As long as you stay the course and you let time take care of things and you keep investing, right? The compounding benefits of keeping that investment going has a payoff in the end, right? When you think about compounding your investment with alcohol, it has a rate of diminishing return. <laughs> and you know this because of all the years that you've spent investing in it. Your life is not getting better. You are not feeling better. It You're on a slow decline. Make sense? So I want to invite you to thinking about investing to maintain your relationship with alcohol. Like that's what we're doing right now with time and money and your health, right? What if you invested in your future relationship with it? What if you invested in your future relationship with alcohol? What if you took that time and money and you invested in it for something that you wanted in the future, just like you do with the way you invest your time and money with other things? So let's just look at the math. What if you take the money that you're spending a year on alcohol and invest that on yourself and your life for a future outcome that you want? So that's what I'm offering you. My Stop Over Drinking and Start Living Coaching program is absolutely, hands down, the best investment that you can guarantee a high rate of return on what you want, okay? Just stop over drinking permanently. Imagine, for just a second, if you thought about it like this, like you did the stock market or your kid's college or a vacation, if you believed it would work out, okay? Just give yourself that moment right now, maybe even pause the podcast, If you believed and got excited and saw the future, your future possibility six months from today, and you saw what you were capable of, and you believed that that would happen for you, and you knew that investing in yourself was the best investment you could ever make because it's something that you can actually control, what would you do? Right? (laughs) I promise you this is the difference right here. This belief in yourself is the difference on people who say yes to making it work and people who don't. And and you might not believe that for yourself right now, but I just want you to know that you can work on believing that you can change your relationship with alcohol. You might not be there yet, but you can start by working on believing that you can. What if you could, right? When we have these thoughts in our mind, and we doubt ourselves, or I, I trigger you to think about your relationship with alcohol, and I, and I ping your brain to think about changing it, I want you to notice what comes up in your mind. I can't do that. I've tried other things in the past. I never follow through on things, right? All of that is your belief about what your capabilities are. And we got to kind of see that for what it is. There's nothing wrong with you for believing that, right? It's just normal human behavior. When we review our past and we see a bunch of failures, we make a conclusion like our brain, our brain is like a computer. We go into the past, scan, 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 look at all the evidence of failures. <laughs> the, and the output is like, mm, does not compute, mm, does, will not work out based on what you've done in the past, right? But that's not the truth, right? Because you get to decide what you do going forward. You can't fix, you can't change what you've done in the past, right? Those things happened, but you can decide to think differently. You can decide to, yes, believe your brain, your automatic brain that wants to keep you safe and secure where you are because it's a risk to go out in the future and do something different, right? You can believe that if you want to, or you could believe, well, what if it was different this time? What if I could change? What if I could do it because Angela's done it. What if I could do it because this 62-year-old lady over here did it and this 50-year-old lady over here did it and this 35-year-old woman with three kids at home did it? What if I could do that? They're not any different than me. What if I could believe in myself right now instead of letting my brain dictate what my future outcome is? Okay? 
The thing is with investments, we can't control the outcomes of our kids' future potential, right? We can inv- we can save money <laughs> and give them support and, and encouragement, but we have no control over that, right? We're, our, our return on that is not guaranteed. Just like we can't control the stock market, right? We The chances are good if you have enough time on your side that you'll have a gain, right? But it's not guaranteed. We're putting our money, we're giving our money to a system that we can't control, right? And depending on when we need that money, the risk is higher or lower. Just like we can't control vacations or the weather or flights being canceled on things that we plan for in the future either. But we believe enough that it's possible that we're willing to take that risk. Okay, stay with me here. We can't control a lot of that stuff, but we're still willing to invest a lot of money and time into those things, right? I want to offer you that you actually have way more control when you invest into yourself and stopping this over drinking than you do with all the other investments that you make. Okay, investing in yourself is always the best bet because you can learn how to follow through on things. You can learn how to manage your mind. You can learn how to be with uncomfortable emotions. And I can teach you how to do that. And if you are open to that, to learning that, investing in yourself, I think, is always the best investment you could ever make because you can control yourself, right? When I first heard this idea, It really did move me to make a decision to join a coaching program that catapulted me to begin my journey to stop over drinking. I was like, you're right. I can't control all that stuff. And I'm still willing to put my money on the line for it. So what if I was willing to put my money on the line for something that I have way more control over and learning how I can create my own thoughts and process my feelings and choose what I want to do? is very, very powerful. It's invaluable. The skills that you learn inside my Stop Over Drinking program, you can apply at work. You can apply in your relationships. You can apply for any problem that you need to solve. Okay? So I decided that I wanted to and that I was a good bet and and that I was worth taking a small risk on. Right? The risk in my mind sounded like this. Yes, this is going to cost me money. Yes, for me, when I joined a coaching program, I stopped doing my nails, getting my hair done professionally, going out to dinner all the time. I gave back my leased car. So we went down to a one car family because I wanted that so bad. I was willing to sacrifice some external things that I was spending money on and invest it in myself. And yes, that felt tight sometimes. Yes, I had to say no to other things, but I was saying yes to myself and my life. That was the priority. And I, I mean, you guys know, here I am four years later with 200 podcast episodes with a very thriving, successful coaching practice that has helped hundreds of women change their relationship with alcohol because I made that bet on myself in the very beginning. That has, in, that has paid off in huge dividends, not only in what I'm doing for myself and my business and the money that I'm making, but how I feel in my life, the challenges that I've learned how to overcome, the adventures that I've went, went on, me saying yes to scarier opportunities, putting myself out there more, be, being willing to be rejected, learning how to fail, hands down the best investment I have ever made and probably will be for the rest of my life. And it has been for so many women, just like you too. So you can invest in the future life you want, and you can do that right now. You can join Stop Over Drinking and Start Living, my six-month intimate coaching program for women today. And in six months from now, in May of 2023, you can have exactly what you want right now. If you're willing to invest in yourself, if you're willing to take that risk, this is the risk. The risk is that you will join And you won't do any of the work and you won't change anything. And you will have invested $5,500 to do that. Okay. That's the the biggest risk. You're not going to feel any different than what you do right now (laughs) with your current relationship with alcohol. Okay. So a lot of times people say, "I'm, I'm worried about failing. Right. So that feels exactly what it feels like right now. Right. You feel disappointed in yourself, aggravated with yourself. You keep trying and not doing things and not following through. Right. You're not seeing the changes that you want. That feels disappointing. That's what it would feel like if you didn't do the work in the program. So you already know what that feels like. You're living it, (laughs) except that you'll be out fifty five hundred dollars. Okay. But the bigger thing is 
The bigger risk I think is, is if you don't do it, what are you ultimately out? What if you, what if you do join and you do do the work? What, what are you missing out on? What is the possibility that you could have if you don't say yes? That's to me, that's where the risk is. You're risking living a life that's worth living right? You're risking feeling better. You're risking having better relationships. You're risking having more money in your bank account. Um, remembering all the things, not having so many arguments, not being so reactive to things like that is very valuable. And because I want to help you move through this and see how you're making decisions. Sometimes we have to be willing to fail. The worst case scenario is you're out $5,500, but Really, the worst case scenario is that you're out the life that you actually want to be living. And we only have one, friends. Okay? So invest into your future life. If you think I'm a good coach, if you like listening to this podcast, if you've applied some of the things that I've taught, you had some progress, you can take a few days off off alcohol, you're probably going to be a good fit for the program. So I really want you to consider applying for it. Invest into yourself. Your life is worth this. And just remind yourself that you're already investing right now in a life that you already have. The life that you already have includes over drinking. Okay. You're spending money to keep that going right now and how much time that takes and how much money that takes away from your life. That's, that's what you're already doing. So all I'm suggesting is that you switch that investment and invest what you're spending on alcohol into this program. Invest the time that you're thinking about, ruminating on it, beating yourself about it, deciding what you're going to drink. Take that time that you're already using around it and apply the teachings that I have inside the, the coaching program and watch your life look completely different in six months. Okay? On average, women experience an 80% reduction in how much they're drinking. Isn't that crazy? When you join that program, think about an 80% reduction in what you're drinking right now and what that would mean to you. Would you invest in yourself if you fully believe that you could do this too? Of course. (laughs) It's like a total no-brainer. It's worth 10 times what I charge to know that you can be done with hangovers, the endless chatter about drinking or not, or you know, dropping a lot of that anger and snap reactions, reducing your negative self-talk. You're going to be more patient. You're going to sleep better. You're going to feel better. You're going to have more energy to do what you love and improve your relationships plus so much more. It's the best investment you'll ever make. Okay. We typically don't move forward on our investments because we don't think it'll work out. Not because we can't afford it. That's a top line objection that we might tell ourselves, oh, I can't afford that. But if you dig, if, if you put that aside and you dig a little bit deeper, It's because like all the things you invest in, right? You do it because you believe it's worth it. You believe that it'll work out and it makes sense for you. That's why you do things. And if you believe that hard, you figure out the money. Just like, you know, when anybody buys a new home or a new car or decides to start saving for college for their kids, it's like, you don't just have thousands and thousands of dollars laying around like, oh, I'm going to decide to do that today. You look at your money situation, you make a budget for it and you figure it out. (laughs) You move some things around, right? So that's what you do when you believe that something will work out for you and it makes sense for you, right? Your actions go into play there and you do the thing. The only thing that's stopping you from saying yes and joining my program is a belief that you will do it and a belief in yourself. And if you've already done it, that's awesome. Congrats to you. A lot of people do have success just listening to the, the, the podcast and applying what I'm teaching and they've changed it. That's amazing. But if you don't have the progress that you want, if you haven't made permanent changes that last, right, and you're still listening to me and you like what I have to say and you want my help, then I want you to consider investing in yourself. I fully believe in you. And you'll have my belief even when you can't believe in yourself. I will coach you so that you can start believing in yourself more. And once you start believing in yourself more and that you can do things, you will start to notice things start to change. I am right now have a six-month goal for myself. It's called um, 45 and Alive. (laughs) So six months from now, I'm turning 45. And I want to, in 2023, which is my 45th year, I want that to be the fittest, the strongest, the most aliveness that I felt so far in my life. And so I believe for the past month that that will happen for myself. Okay. I am envisioning myself, you know, turning 45 on my birthday in April, 
um, being really fit, being really strong, feeling alive, being able to do physical things I haven't done before. And so for the past month, I've been practicing believing in that myself. And so what I'm doing from that belief is I just hired a personal trainer last week. I invested into three months with a personal trainer, paid up full in advance. That's how much I believe. (laughs) I'm going to follow through on it, right? I am dialing in on my food and making sure I'm getting my steps in and my water and really fine tuning some things for myself. And it wouldn't, I wouldn't have done those things if I thought I couldn't do it. Does that make sense? So I believe that this is happening for me. And from that belief, I have taken action to make sure that it's so, right? A good sort of temperature check on your belief for yourself and what you think is possible is if you are actually taking some action towards the thing that you want to do. Okay, if you if you want to stop over drinking, but you notice you're not doing things to help you do that, then you got to see what your beliefs are about your capabilities. You got to ask yourself, what do I believe about my ability to actually do this? And be brave and go look at that in your mind. And I can help you see that. I know what questions and how to coach you so you can reveal what your current belief systems are about yourself and how that's affecting your growth and what steps you're taking towards where you actually want to be going, right? You can change your belief systems about yourself. That's the beautiful thing about the human mind. We can observe what we're thinking, we can get, we can clear out the cobwebs and look at what we think about ourselves and then we can change it and then we get the results that we want in our lives, okay? I believe in you so much and I really want you to consider joining the program. There's never been a better chance to apply than right now. We're going into the holidays. I have so many fun things planned for you. You're gonna get a nice welcome gift when you join. You can, you know, have personalized coaching directly from me and coach Steph and join other women who are all committed and believe in themselves too. There's nothing like it. So click the link in the show notes, check out the three videos. I want you to watch those videos before you apply because I go through all the details of the program and you have to watch those videos before your application is reviewed. All right, my friends, I love you and we'll talk to you next week. Believe in yourself. Okay, bye.